If you've ever seen a magician pull a rabbit out of a hat, the odds are good that it was a Polish rabbit. The Polish rabbit is a compact breed with a reputation for being high-strung, despite loving attention from its owners. They were developed in Belgium as food, but as time progressed, this breed became more popular as a pet. This rabbit breed has a short head with full cheeks, large eyes, and short ears which point and touch each other all the way to the tip. They have a compact body shape and carry the dwarf gene, meaning they should not weigh more than 3.5 pounds. Polish Rabbit Breed History Despite its name, the Polish rabbit breed has its origin in England and it may have been offspring of an albino Dutch rabbit. In the early 1800s, a few white rabbits of small size, and probably mixed origins popped up in England and breeders began calling them Polish, we will never know why they decided to call them by this name. It is thought that it was developed by breeding a Dutch and Himalayan rabbit dating back to the 1600s. By the 1900s, they were one of the most popular meat breeds in Europe, especially in Belgium. These rabbits eventually made their way to America around 1912 and were used to source other breeds, such as the Netherland Dwarf. Soon after, the Polish rabbit was accepted by the American Rabbit Breeders Association. Coat Polish rabbits love attention and will happily let you pick them up. The Polish rabbit has short, soft, flyback fur that is easy to maintain in comparison to other breeds, which have longer wool, angoras, for instance. To keep it maintained, you should groom your rabbit once a week or bi-weekly. During the spring or when they start to shed, you may want slash need to increase your grooming to twice a week in order to keep your house fur free. There are six varieties of Polish rabbit coat color markings that are accepted by the Arba. They are ruby-eyed white, black, blue chocolate, blue-eyed white, and broken pattern, which is any color mixed with white. Care Requirements These rabbits do not need a large enclosure, as they are small in size. Having said that, we do recommend this breed stay indoors because of their small size, it makes them easy targets for predators such as raccoons and coyotes. Your indoor rabbit enclosure should be made of wire, be large enough for your rabbit to comfortably stretch out, and have a plastic or metal bottom that's covered in comfortable bedding, horse bedding works well. The bedding needs to be spot cleaned every day and completely replaced every week. A Polish rabbit's diet is like any other rabbit in that it should consist mainly of hay, 70%, while the rest should be a healthy balance of pellets, leafy greens, fruits, and vegetables. Research what kind of fruits, vegetables, and greens are rabbit friendly. If you're not sure if a particular food can be eaten, the rule of thumb is simply not to give it to them. Limit the number of fruits that are high in sugar, and make sure to stay clear of iceberg lettuce, as it contains too much water and too little fiber to count as a good meal. Do not feed your rabbit yard clippings as grass can be treated with fertilizer, insecticides, pesticides, and other chemicals that can harm your rabbit. Housing and care. Caring for a Polish rabbit is relatively easy. Because of their small size, this breed only needs enough enclosure space to stretch out, making them an optimal pet for apartment dwellers. Like most small breed rabbits, Polish tend to be higher strung than their larger counterparts. They are also not ideal pets for small children, since they can be easily dropped, injured, and stepped on. Their high-strung nature makes them better suited for a mature, rabbit-loving, adult home. Get an indoor cage made of stainless steel. Polish rabbits do not need a lot of room to move around, as they are a very small breed. Look for a cage that is 18x24 or 45.72 cm by 60.96 cm and made of stainless steel wiring. The cage should have a door that can be closed shut from the outside. Make sure the cage has a plastic bottom, as a wire floor is too hard for a rabbit's feet check that the cage has a separate box or level for the rabbit to go to the bathroom. A litter box like that used for a cat works well. Just make sure to use the rabbit safe litter. Set up the cage indoors in a spot that is room temperature. Do not put the cage in direct sunlight or in a spot that gets too cold. Make sure the cage has a plastic bottom, as a wire floor is too hard for a rabbit's feet. Check that the cage has a separate box or level for the rabbit to go to the bathroom. A litter box like that used for a cat works well. Just make sure to use the rabbit safe litter. Set up the cage indoors in a spot that is room temperature. Do not put the cage in direct sunlight or in a spot that gets too cold. Check for drafts and excess sun exposure before placing the cage anywhere. Put grass hay at the bottom of the cage. Lay 1 to 2 inches of grass hay at the bottom of the cage to protect the rabbit's feet and make the cage comfortable for it. You can find grass hay at your local pet store or online. Horse bedding like sawdust or straw can also work for rabbits. Sawdust can get dusty, but it's easy to clean and replace. You will need to replace the bedding once a week so it stays clean. Feeding Like all rabbits, the Polish diet consists of hay, pellets, leafy greens, fruits, and vegetables, though commercial pellets are recommended for domesticated animals. 
Feed your rabbit 1 quarter cup of pellets per 5 pounds of body weight every day. For rabbits under 8 months of age, feed unlimited plain alfalfa pellets. Fresh rinsed greens, vegetables, and fruit, as well as grains and hay, can be given as supplements. Free choice hay, such as Timothy, should always be available and changed daily. Alfalfa hay, which is too rich in calcium, should not be offered to rabbits over 8 months of age. Never feed your rabbit yard clippings, which may be treated with harmful chemicals. Provide a food dish and a water bottle. Make sure the food dish is made of metal or ceramic, as Polish rabbits like to chew on plastic. The dish should be shallow and wide enough to fit one serving of the rabbit's food, including veggies and fresh foods, and still allow easy access for the rabbit. The rabbit will also need a water bottle with a drinking spout. Make sure the water bottle is positioned into the rabbit's cage with the spout facing downward for easy access. Include hiding places and toys. Like most rabbits, Polish rabbits enjoy having hiding places in their cage to relax. Put plastic tunnels and huts in the cage. Position chew toys like cardboard tubes and pieces of paper in the cage. You can also get the rabbit toys made of cardboard like a cardboard carrot or a cardboard castle. Look for rabbit toys at your local pet store or online. Clean the cage regularly. Keep the rabbit's cage clean so it is not susceptible to illness and infection. Do a weekly clean where you wipe down the cage with water and vinegar. You should also replace the bedding in the cage so it is fresh. Wash the food dish and the water bottle as well. Set up a cleaning schedule where you always clean the rabbit's cage on the same day every week. Allow your rabbit to roam and play around the house while you clean its cage. This lets your rabbit get its out of cage time while you take care of your chores. Have a game with the rabbit. Use a rubber ball to play fetch with the rabbit. Take the rabbit out of its cage and put it on the ground. Then, toss the rubber ball a few feet away from the rabbit. Encourage it to fetch the ball by offering it a treat by the ball. It should try to nudge or chew on the ball. You can play tug of war with your rabbit using a long chew toy, a cardboard tube, or a towel. Allow the rabbit to grip the towel or toy with its teeth. Then, gently pull on the other end. Do not tug or yank the end, as you do not want to damage the rabbit's teeth. Rabbits enjoy tossing up objects like the lid of a mason jar, plastic toys, or wooden blocks. Let the rabbit toss the objects in the air or nudge them along the ground. Take the rabbit for a walk on a leash. Encourage your rabbit to get some exercise by taking it on a walk on a leash outdoors or indoors. Get a harness that fits the rabbit properly and a lightweight leash. Teach the rabbit to get used to the harness and leash. Over time, it should enjoy going for short walks on the leash. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.